Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23560. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Those things being said, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Wondershare Dr. Phone. Wondershare Dr. Phone has all the tools you need to keep your mobile at 100%. The software can help you transfer data between iOS, Android, and PC iTunes, back up your phone to a PC and restore backups selectively, and mirror and control your mobile device on any Windows PC. Besides data backup and management, Dr. Phone also provides a complete set of tools for solving all iOS and Android phone problems. Make sure to check out Wondershare Dr. Phone from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. In this update, the main highlight I would say is the fact that Microsoft is introducing Copilot in the All Plus tab menu. So basically now if you have multiple apps opened, I'm going to open the File Explorer and also the Settings app and then we're going to open up Copilot. If we press All Plus tab, we're going to notice that now Copilot is also available in the All Plus tab menu. I think this could be useful for those of you who are using Copilot. I saw a lot of users thinking that Microsoft replaced the All Plus tab functionality with a shortcut that just opens Copilot. Well, that's not true. Microsoft just added Copilot in the All plus tab menu as any other app that would be here. You can really quickly switch between apps and have the focus on that certain app that you're interested in. This is slowly rolling out so you may not see it right away. If you want me to make a video and show you how to manually enable this, you can leave a comment below. Also related to the file explorer sharing section, as spotted by Phantom Ocean 3, Microsoft has updated the sharing experience when you are sharing a link. So you're going to have a screenshot from Phantom Ocean's Twitter. And basically more apps and sites will be suggested in the share section and also the copy link option has been moved to the top of the share menu. Also in settings, system and nearby sharing, if you're trying to rename your PC for nearby sharing, you're now going to have a maximum character count which is 16 and this won't let you bypass that counter. This was also found by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter. And on the Canary and Dev Channel builds, Microsoft Store was updated with a new version that supposedly is launching faster. For those of you who are using the Microsoft Store, you know that when you open it, you have to wait a few good seconds before it will load up. Well, with this new version, Microsoft Store should load up faster. Just go into the Microsoft Store library and then check for updates and get the latest Microsoft Store update. And now let's also talk about some fixes in this build. For example, the File Explorer, Microsoft fix an issue which could make the File Explorer drop downs and context menu unexpectedly have a transparent background. Sometimes they also fix an issue where the search box wasn't showing the correct folder name when you were in gallery. Regarding the taskbar, they fix an explorer.exe crash impacting taskbar reliability. Some narrator fixes also, they fix an issue where languages other than US English couldn't preview narrator natural voices in settings, and they also fix an issue where narrator wasn't reading out the timestamps on recommended items in start correctly. And we also have a fix related to the task manager, they did some work to help improve performance when expanding the navigation pane in task manager. And I'm also going to mention some known issues, for example, some insiders in the dev channel who are on the home edition of Windows 11 Insider preview builds may notice that Copilot in Windows has disappeared from the task. Microsoft is working to solve this issue in a future flight. And also, the new Copilot icon is not shown currently in the latest dev channel builds. This will be updated in a future flight as well. So basically, this is the latest build for the dev channel 23560. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tick base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.